or good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for joining me. This is Biking Buddies, a motor vlog for motorbikes. So without further ado, grab yourself a beer, grab yourself a brew, strap yourself in and let me take you into this week's Biking Buddies motor vlog. Cue those titles. When are you go, when you're young, when you're restless, when you're fun, cause you're desperate. Okay folks, so what are we up to today? Well, it is that time of year again where we have those late autumn, early winter storms whistling through and this weekend is no exception. Extremely high winds and lots and lots of rain. So we're deep in the man cave. We're gonna show the bike a little bit of love today. Uh, first and foremost, we're gonna give it a wash off. It is still quite pitted from the last ride. And secondly, we're gonna give the bike an oil change. So yes, that's right. We are in the maintenance side of the year where we take care of the bike just as much as we ride it in the summer so let's have a very brief look at the bike do you see where i am coming from there we are very very dirty from the last ride rather embarrassingly didn't get the bike washed off uh, but no bother that's what today's all about so we're going to show the bike some love so come along with me we'll get this bike washed off and then i'll take you through changing the oil on a triumph tiger xc explorer 1200 good to set your stall out and get yourself prepared so here we are we've got our exchange oil ready to go exchange oil filter um, oil tray bit of newspaper and a rag always always handy to have those things um, so what I'm going to do now is just run the bike up put a little bit of temperature into it then get it into the garage out of the weather and we'll start uh, the demontage of getting the sump tray off oil filter out and then we'll take you through changing the oil on a Triumph Explorer Ooh. Right. Whoa, right, here we are. This is cozy. Right, now, one thing I do like about this bike is the design element of it. I did think I'd have to take the sump guard off, but I don't. Uh, there is a cutout under here, hopefully you'll be able to see that, uh, where you've got free access to the sump plug. So, oil tray at the ready, oily rag at the ready, and let's crack this sump plug and get him open. Okay, so, got to be very careful with these. Equal pressure on the ratchet, there we go, nice and easy. Now, the key is gonna to be to get this out without A, dropping it, and B, covering myself uh, with oil. Okay, so it is gonna be a bit of a messy drop. I can just feel coming to the end of the threads. And there we are, out she comes. All that lovely oil. And we just let that drain now, lovely and warm nice and runny 
okay then guys so that's pretty much all of the oil out now what I need to do is move uh, the oil tray so that I can get the sump plug back into the sump on the bike now what I always do uh, and I would highly recommend this uh, with you guys as well is on the sump plug you've always got a compression washer and it's just a little brass washer that just sits um, on the lug side of the sump plug um, it's worth every single time that you do an oil change um, is replacing for a brand new compression washer uh, certainly saves a lot of hassle and potentially a lot of oil leaks so let's get this bad boy plugged back in time to get intimate with the floor other things to consider as well is uh, a cloth give all around that sump plug area a really good clean um, I always like to give it a bit of a blast off with GT85 uh, that just thins down any oil residue uh, that may well be left over um, and then we can get the oil filter out so let's get this sump plug back in first give it a really good clean off make sure that all of the grit dolomite and dirt is all completely gone and that looks pretty good to me so again being super super careful not to cross thread this sump plug always back the threads out first till you feel it click and then you can wind the sump plug in okay so just gently at first that just stops any last little bits of drips and dregs that are coming out and now the key thing is to give the entire area a really really good clean up uh, you want to be able to see and detect if there are any oil leaks and weeps and also we need to make sure that we have a good clean purchase on said sump plug give it a good old tighten with your ratchet which we have here and let's lock our sump plug into place that looks good that certainly looks good key thing is to put it tight but not too tight uh, that you strip the threads out okay next job oil filter Okay, now I did opt to leave the sump guard on, uh, as you can well see. Now that can pose a little bit of a problem when I'm getting the filter off, because invariably I'll get some oil running down um, over the side stand uh, switch and into the sump guard. So, top tip, uh, and this works on sports bikes as well incidentally, is get a little bit of a rag, shove it into the void, as it were. So if I do have any uh, spills or overruns, that's where it's going to go. And then a bit of trusty newspaper. Now your newspaper is just going to act as a bit of a deflector just to capture any oil that rip, runs and drips and we'll drop it into into uh, our oil tub underneath so we also need a ratchet spanner as well or a filter strap um, over the oil filter not the easiest things to get hold of these um, and they shouldn't really be too tight this one isn't thankfully once you've loosened it off you can just spin that filter out with your fingers again try not to drop it there goes the oil look just dripping straight into the tray underneath rather than directly into the sump guard really top tip that guys and there is our oil filter now incidentally I just want to show you this I know that I'm changing the oil on the bike uh, at the moment just as a, an early winter late autumn um, if you have a look at this oil can you see hopefully you'll be able to see that and that'll be in focus the oil is still surprisingly yellow um, which is a very good sign um, you really want to be changing your oil before it's going solid jet black um, so we'll just let that sit there uh, we do need to dispose of all of this in the correct manner through the usual uh, recycling outlets uh, that are available to us so you'll see in there all of our oil is dropping onto the newspaper and straight into the tub and we'll just leave that to drain then we'll clean all this area up uh, before we get our new filter in and again there's a top tip for putting new filters in And look at that guys a little bit of oil on the newspaper which is fine that's quite acceptable that's what it was there for uh, but incidentally the um, tissue plug that I put in um, has only got a tiny little bit of oil on uh, and none has gone into the sump tray so nice nice and easy nice and clean uh, which is exactly what we wanted 
okay so we can see in here then we're all nice and clean we've just got our little bit of blue roll in there just absorbing some residue so the top tip that we have here's our new filter uh, this one has a nut drive on the outside which is quite handy um, certainly for uh, putting the filter in so one thing that we need to do is open our filter up take the protective plastic casing off now you will see on the filter here that we've got this rubber o-ring this is ultimately what seals against the machined face inside the bike so or on the side of the engine cover so one top tip is get your new oil give it a little bit of a shake lift the lid up and what we're looking to do which is quite important is inside the cap we've got some brand new oil so just dip your little finger in there you only need a tiny bit and just put some oil on that rubber o-ring and what that enables the o-ring to do is as you tighten that up onto the machined face of the bike it means that the o-ring will just slide and rotate around rather than potentially snagging um, and not seating correctly so what we're going to do now is just nice and quickly we're going to pull our blue roll out give the whole area a little bit of a wipe there we are it's looking lovely and clean no oil dripping no residues no nothing making sure everything is super clean that's the key thing here and then we pop our filter on again find the threads and once we've got that thread picked up we can just spin the filter in just by hand now what a lot of people do when they're tightening filters up is they over tighten them and so this one has got a nut drive on so all you're looking to do with a filter is to just tighten it up around about two-thirds of a rotation once you feel it start to stiffen up so I'm just at that point there just give it a little bit of a nip and that's it that's all that is required you compress in a rubber o-ring in a recessed groove within the filter housing against the machined body of the engine case and they don't need to be super super FT okay folks so we're nearly done i've turned the bike around now that's solely so that the back of the bike is pointing out of the garage that means uh, when the time is right i can come to run the bike up uh, now we're on to the exciting bit which is filling the bike up with oil um, i like to use a funnel to do this it just keeps it a little bit neater uh, and a bit less potentially messy um, use the correct oil um, now how much oil do you put in well that's really straightforward have a look at the manufacturer's specification these bikes um, these 1200s uh, I believe they take uh, 3300 uh, milliliters so just over three liters worth of oil you've also got as well on every bike but on the Triumph Explorer down at the front part of the sump here uh, we have our sight glass and that's what we keep an eye on so we have a minimum mark and a maximum mark one thing that we do need to do is fill up to the maximum mark leave the bike just to sit for a second to let the fluids settle um, then we uh, pop our engine cap back in the oil filler cap and we run the bike over and what that does is it fills all of the oil capillaries within the engine but it also fundamentally fills that oil filter up as well we then switch the engine off let the fluids settle um, check the sight class and we'll give the bike a top up if it's needed so I'm going to dive ahead and get this bad boy filled up So, halfway there. And here's our engine mount plug. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is fire the bike up, check for any oil leaks, and also um, we'll switch the engine off after a couple of minutes. We'll let the oil level settle. I can look and see in the sight glass at the moment that I'm just above the maximum mark, which is probably where I need it to be. Uh, once it settles, that should be somewhere uh, pretty much bang on point. 
Okay then folks, so we're almost done now. A little bit of a top up. Now this does definitely show the importance of running that engine up once you've done an oil change. Fundamentally to check for oil leaks, yes obviously, uh, but also as I say to uh, ensure that those oil capillaries within the engine are full and also the filter as well. Um, you will have seen there in the video uh, that after I'd put the initial drop of oil in, uh, the fluid level was just above the maximum. Now I've run the bike up and hopefully you'll be able to see this, but that's our maximum minimum mark there. And the fluid level of that oil is sitting um, exactly um, halfway let's see if you can see it on that angle maybe a little bit better than the sight window it is quite difficult at filming glass as you were aware uh, but take it from me guys um, that oil is now uh, sitting exactly between halfway uh, minimum halfway maximum so yeah definitely need uh, a little bit more of a top up so that's what I'm going to do and then we should be done one final quick check while the bike's running which I'll take you along with me for that one right then so that's the final top up done let's fire it over let the oil warm up and let's see if we've got any oil leaks <laughs> Guys, I think we can successfully say that, that is mission successful. So we'll just let that run up, just let it warm up to get back in the garage. Okay then folks, so that is a wrap. We are done and dusted. I hope you found that uh, informative. I hope you found it a little bit entertaining along the way. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button uh, to be notified every time we're making an upload. Um, finally, from me in the man cave, we're gonna do a little bit of tidying up now, um, is to say to you guys, wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, keep it safe, keep it shiny side up, and me and the Triumph, we'll catch you for the next one. Thank you guys, thank you, bye.